Today I'm going to show you how to put your LG front load washer into test mode. Now this will apply for most LG washers, uh, including some Kenmore washers that were actually built by LG. So the first step is to make sure that your washer uh, tub is empty and to make sure that the washer is plugged in and your spigots are on and everything is kind of hooked up normally. The first step to test mode is make sure that the display screen is off and you want to press and hold the spin speed and soil level buttons and then just press the part or the power button it'll ding twice and you'll start getting this weird display screen the door will lock and now you're in test mode everything's lit up so let's go step by step and see what what happens so the first step is to, uh, so you press the start button to advance through the steps. So if you press it one time, the washer should start tumbling clockwise. Now let me back the camera up so you guys can see a little bit. And there you have it. Now the display screen will also say approximately what RPMs it's spinning. So this is spinning at about 50 RPMs. The second time we press it, it should go into a spin speed. Now the digit might look the same, but the 5.9 is actually 590 RPMs. So that lets us know that it's going into low spin. Now we're gonna press start one more time. Now it should go into high spin speed. And it should top off at around 1100 RPMs. Maybe 11 to 1150 it says. Okay, so the next start button is going to check the inlet valve for the pre-wash. And this digit indicates the frequency, the water level frequency, which is not really something that you really need to be terribly bothered with, but you do need to uh, just verify that the pre-wash inlet valve is in fact working we're gonna let it fill just a little bit at one more now we're gonna be testing for the main wash valve which is filling just fine this tests the hot water inlet valve. So this is the sixth time we've pressed the start button and uh, we're testing for hot water. Number seven is going to be the bleach valve, which in a previous video I showed you that the bleach valve and the spray rinse valve are uh, connected. So you should see some water coming out of the, uh, the rinse jet here. The eighth press it's going to tumble counterclockwise. Okay, so step um, nine is for the heater test. And what it does is it just does a self test and it only turns the heater on for about three seconds. And uh, if the heater doesn't work for whatever reason, it'll typically throw a fault code. Um, so as long as you don't get a fault code at step nine, then the um, heater tested out good. And this will tell you the approximate temperature in Celsius, which is about 21 degrees. So moving on to the next step, this is the uh, 10th press of the start button and the circulation pumps should turn on. Now, as you can see, the uh, side jets are turning on, and let me see if I can get you a little close up on that. 
and that's when you know that the uh, recirculating pump is in fact working. Now the 11th press will just activate the drain pump and it should just drain the tub. Now as it's draining, this frequency will change, indicating that it's detecting less and less water. So the value seems to be going up, indicating that there's less water in the tub. And it looks like the water level frequency, it says between 25 and 65, I'm not really sure exactly how that correlates to here but as long as this value is moving and obviously you could see with your eyeballs that the water is draining out it's drained the 12th press of the start button will just shut the machine off and you've successfully gone through test mode and the machine will completely shut off and the door will unlock and there you have it so you've just ran your machine through test mode if any of these uh, 11 steps, or 10 steps rather, uh, have failed, uh, you know at least where to start looking as far as what's wrong with your machine. So, you know, if your machine doesn't turn clockwise for whatever reason, you want to start looking at the motor circuit. If it's not activating any one of the inlet valves, you definitely want to start looking at the inlet valves and see what's going on over there. Uh, again, with the heater circuit, if it uh, throws a code during that uh, that test, that part of the test, then you know to look at the heater uh, system, and obviously you could test the drain pump and the recirculation pump to make sure everything is working fine. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, and uh, stand by for my next video. Thanks.